This is a quick tutorial to demonstrate to students how they can send work that they've written on paper um, to their teachers. Okay, uh, the first app that you need is Microsoft Teams, which you can see in the middle of my screen here. And the second app that you need as well is an app called OneDrive, which is another Microsoft application. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna open that. I've already got that installed on my phone. And the first place you'll go to is here. You might have to sign in. And if you do have to sign in, just sign in using your school email and password that you use for Teams. And at the bottom of the screen, you can see a camera. Now, if I press that, I'm able to capture a document, as it says there, um, towards the bottom of the screen. And I've got two pieces of paper here. Uh, and I, I could just send photos to the teacher like they are, but it's because they're quite difficult to read. It'd be better if it was sent to the teacher as a PDF and everything was square on. So if I just get this first sheet roughly in the middle of my camera lens and press the button to capture, I can then move these corners in the right place for that document. And you'll see in a sec what this does. So I'm just putting the four corners in the right place. If I press confirm and it produces a nice, as if it's been scanned with, a, with an actual scanner. Um, you shouldn't need to mess around with the filters or anything. If I wanted to add a second page as well, if I click on the bottom left to add, see the camera with the plus sign, I can then capture a second page like that. Again, you might need to adjust the corners, you might not. Um, if you want to be extra precise, you can, you can move them, but normally they're pretty much okay. Okay, I'm going to press confirm again. Now, um, on the bottom right, I've got like a blue arrow with a number two in there. If I press on that, I can see my two pages have been nicely scanned. And now I need to get them to my teacher. Uh, I'm going to click done on the bottom right here. And I'm going to give it a name of, I'll give it a name of test scan. But what you should do is obviously give it your um, surname in there as well. Um, in fact, I'll do that. Better than that. Okay, I'm going to press the tick on the top right, and that's now saved. It's uploading. I'm still in OneDrive, remember. Um, I've got test scan Kimberly, and I've got test scan underneath. Okay, so I need to get I need to get that to my teacher. I'm going to come out of OneDrive, and instead I'm going to go into Teams. Okay, now looking at my Teams, here's all the Teams I'm in. I'm going to go to like a pretend class I'm in called Test Team NK. And if I press on General, I can see that I'm due to hand in an assignment, View Assignment. You can see a link there for Add Work. If I press that, and then choose to attach a resource from OneDrive. So here's everything in my OneDrive drive. And right at the bottom, right at the bottom, is what I've uploaded uh, to OneDrive today including that test scan that I've just created. So if I just choose that bottom uh, piece of work that I want to send to my teacher, um, I just let that upload, that's finished. And if I then hand that in, that's now gone to my teacher. It might be that your teacher doesn't want you to upload uh, your work to an assignment. They just want you to send it to them. But the best way of doing that is if I go back into OneDrive and if I choose that test scan, I'm going to click on the three dots and press share. And I'm going to send it to Mr. Warmby. It says that anyone with a link can edit. I don't mind if he edits it. Um, he will be giving me feedback on it. So I'll choose him. Don't need to add anyone else. I can add a message. This is my work and send that and that's gone. So what's happened there is an email has now gone to Mr. Warmby with a link to my work.